Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in today's video, I'll teach you how you can refresh your standard component on the click of a button in your custom Lightning Web component. So guys, there might be some requirement where you have to update the standard component. Maybe you're creating a record or updating a record from your custom Lightning Web component. And the, on the click of that button, you need to update a standard component, which is not available using the default functionalities. So in today's videos, guys, we will be creating a workaround and using that workaround it is basically kind of a trick, I would say. So using that trick, we'll be refreshing the standard component from our custom Lightning Web component. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. All right, guys. So for this demo, I'll be using two very important things. First is a custom web component and uh, the custom web component must be having an action to trigger and the next is of course a standard component because we are going to update the standard component on the click of the custom lightning web component so guys for the custom component i'm using one of my existing component which is file thumbnail uh, preview model and icon so basically this is a custom lightning web component uh, in which you can upload the file show the file thumbnail thumbnails click on the thumbnail to get a wider picture and uh, that will be opened in a model basically so today i'll be using this component okay you can see the demo here in the output so basically we have selected the files okay we are uploading it and after that on the component we'll be getting file thumbnails okay so guys why i'm using files because uh, the files are getting saved automatically in the notes and attachment related list of course and if you are aware about it so whenever you will make some changes in your lightning web component your related list is not going to load itself again and again until you will refresh the page or you are viewing the page on the first time okay so this is my account tab guys and i have already added the notes and attachment related list here so just to add the notes and attachment related list, you can just simply do edit page. Okay. And uh, from here, you have to select related list single and in the related list single, you are getting option to add any related list. So for this example, I have added the notes and attachment. Okay. Now let me go back to the page itself. So guys, this is the default component. I'm not having any specific functionality here right now. So if I will try to upload a file, let's say if I'm uploading this one, okay. So you can see the upload file model. The file has been uploaded successfully. And on the right side, guys, this is the notes and attachment related list. And right now you are not able to see the recently uploaded attachment because as it is a related list, so it is not going to update itself automatically. We have to do a hard refresh once. So after refreshing the page on the right side, you can see the file is available here as well with the icon also, of course. So guys, to do it, we'll be using a refresh view. If you're directly working in LBC, then you might not aware about it. But if you comes from Aura background, then in Aura component, guys, we were having a function uh, the function was refresh view and using the refresh view we can refresh the standard components as well on the click of that aura component okay so to achieve the same functionality guys we are having two ways to do this functionality either you can have your lightning web component inside an aura component okay and then you can create an event basically on that events click you have to call that refresh view in your aura component so this is the first way and the second way is basically kind of a trick i i would say i mean that might be might not be the best way to use the functionality so that's why i'm referring it as a trick here so that is a trick basically through which you can use the refresh view i mean you you, are, you won't be able to use the refresh view directly you have to use it this way only so using that trick, we'll be using that refresh view in our lightning web component. Okay. So as I told you, I mean, it is up to your requirement, whether you would like to go with the aura component and then uh, you can have your lightning component inside that aura one. So that will also do the trick. But for now, for this example only, I'm just using a 
trick to use that refresh view in my uh, lightning web component okay so let me show you my lightning web component so okay this is basically a component uh, the component name is preview file thumbnails okay this is the parent one and inside that i'm having thumbnail card and maybe a model as well i don't remember the exact functionality of it but anyways so for now guys i will update the functionality here in this handle up upload finish because in in this handle upload finish we are getting this toast message file uploaded successfully so before this toast message we will be using that refresh view function okay so for that you can use that function like this here Okay, the function is now we can do e dot force refresh view okay and then let's close it dot fire okay so this line should be in double quotes yes it is now let's add a semicolon let me just verify the line again so a dot get e dot force colon refresh view single quote closed brackets fire semicolon yep everything looks good to me okay now let's save it and test it once so i'm deploying this component to my org and uh, it might take few seconds okay it is deployed successfully now let's move to my org let me just refresh the page so it could have the recent changes in it yep so guys earlier if you remember when i uploaded the file i have to reload the page completely to see the file in this related list but now as we have implemented the refresh view in our lightning web component so we don't have to refresh the page so that was a trick let me show it to you by uploading another file okay i have uploaded another jpg image here okay and on the right side you are able to see only one image which is displaying here now once i will click on this done see so on the right side also we are having two images right now so basically what the refresh view did is it basically refreshed the standard components as well i mean when you are doing some work in your lightning web component basically so guys that's how you can refresh your standard components from your lightning web component i think this is a very cool trick and definitely somewhere i mean definitely you will need it and if you will find this video at that time then you know that will save a lot of your time okay so guys that it is for today i hope you like today's video if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome and also guys i will be having the complete code of this uh, i will be having the complete code of this uh, example on my blog which is salesforcepool.com so definitely you should check that out and basically i'll be having that single line code there because i will mention the previous blog link there so you can just check the complete code here and you can find that refresh line on the new one okay so that's it for today guys i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching